providing funding for families in need. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Michael Schwartz. He's president and founder of Hometown Heroes. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, Jill. You started this organization about five years ago at this point, and you say it's to provide a platform for members of the community to step forward. How do you do that? Sure. The idea is not us. We're not the heroes. It's people in the community that say, what can I do to help? And, you know, in the past year, we've had a lot with Superstorm Sandy, obviously. But before that, in the, in the four years leading up to Superstorm Sandy, we had a lot with, uh, you know, homeless, sick kids, things like that, the vet down the street that just needs a, a helping hand. So we provide a platform for people to step up and say, how can I help? And you're doing that in many different ways. And as you mentioned, the last year plus has really been dedicated to helping families post Superstorm Sandy. Give us an idea as to who you've been able to help and how. It's a range. It's people from all over New Jersey. Uh, we've had over 2,200 families come in uh, to date, which it goes up every day, and it's amazing. It could be anyone who's just displaced and needs a, a place to stay, or someone who's trying to fix up their home and needs a little bit of bridge funding to get those appliances or put the insulation in. And people are, are still dealing with these issues today, a uh, year plus after Superstorm Sandy, that they are still in need of this type of assistance. Yeah, unfortunately, I've been telling everyone this. This is a 10-year process, and I think people fail to realize that with the media a lot of times reports on us, hey, the boardwalk is back and we look okay today, but these families are still struggling and it's a long road ahead for everyone. And for these families that you've been able to assist, uh, they've come forward or someone has recommended them to your organization and you've really been able to help them in, in many different ways. We try, we do what we can. Uh, you know, every situation is unique and that's the wonderful thing. We'll vet each application and find out what an applicant really needs to get back on their feet and we do whatever we can to help. And in addition, as you mentioned, to helping those impacted by Superstorm Sandy, you work to help uh, members of the community in a variety of different ways, and you're actually growing as an organization. Uh, people think of you as associated with Superstorm Sandy, but you are working to grow across the country. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. This year we've had tremendous growth. We're in New York now, Pennsylvania, Florida. We just opened an office in Louisiana. And uh, we are, the message is, I think, what people feed into. I think people like what we do. It's about helping people. It's about stepping up. It's about being heroes. And, uh, you know, it, people, people love it. It seems to work. And it's an interesting com concept in that you are working to uh, provide a national platform, but this is really still a grassroots organization in that neighbors are helping neighbors in local communities. Right. And, and that's it, and it's grassroots. And I think that's another reason that people really love it because you can find unique ways to help your family, your friends, and your neighbors. Now, let's talk a little bit about funding because you are working to find additional funding for families regardless of the situation they're facing, but particularly for those families who are still dealing with the aftermath of Superstorm Sandy, you are looking for additional funding sources and uh, are looking for people to step forward. Right. Uh, we, we've gotten a lot of money from grants this year. That runs out, as, as you would know. Um, we, we do a lot of events. We, we did Last year, I think we did upwards of about 300 events. I just counted I was in 26 cities this year, traveling around the country to try and raise money. And and uh, it, it's tough. We continue to do events. Our PayPal has dropped off because it seems like, you know, Superstorm Sandy is kind of out of everyone's mind right now. But we're just going to keep chugging along and doing what we're doing until we can help that last person. You also have an upcoming event on March 20th. It's your annual gala. This is my favorite one because this one we get to actually honor the heroes in the community that have stepped up throughout the year to help. So this is at, uh, it's March 20th at the Crystal Point Yacht Club. Tickets are $100 this year. And Jim Dowd from the New Jersey Devils is going to be hosting and coaching during the event. If someone is in need or knows of a family in need, can they still reach out to you as an organization? Absolutely. We get applications in every day. The best way is to go to our website at usahometownheroes.org, or they can call the office, of course, and uh, we'll have someone at our staff assist them. And as you mentioned, families can be facing a variety of different issues, and you as an organization uh, could be there to help. And again, your annual gala is happening on March 20th. Yep. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Joe. We've been talking with Michael Schwartz. He is president and founder of Hometown Heroes. I'm Jill Horner.